also breaking overnight. Harvey has now strengthened into a tropical storm as it bears down on the Gulf Coast. And it could bring record rain and widespread flooding to that region. Al's tracking its path. He's on the road in Minnesota this morning. Al, we're looking at your map here in the studio of that region. There is an awful lot of orange and red on that map. Yeah, there's a lot of moisture, and what there isn't are big steering currents to bring this thing on shore and then up and out. It is going to be, we're going to be talking about Harvey into next week, all right? So right now, it's 425 miles south-southeast of Port O'Connor, Texas. It's got 45-mile-per-hour winds. It's moving north-northwest at 12 miles per hour. Now, we expect before it makes landfall, it will probably strengthen to a Category 1 storm, making landfall sometime Saturday morning with 85-mile-per-hour winds. Of course, the winds are an issue. The storm surge is an issue. But what's really concerning is this thing's going to just hang out there right along the Texas Gulf Coast. You see Monday Monday morning at 1 a.m. It's still there. We right now have uh, hurricane watches, hurricane warnings, I should say, and tropical storm warnings all along the Texas coastline, and especially from Port Mansfield to Marta Porto, you've got you've got uh, uh, hurricane warnings up. We've also got from Port Mansfield to San Luis Pass five to seven foot storm surges. Look at the rainfall with this thing. We're talking about isolated amounts of 20 inches or more, but of, or to, to 25 inches, but we've got a widespread swath of anywhere from 10 to 15 inches of rain before this is all over. So massive flooding, and the big concern is it may actually start to drift a little further east. Louisiana comes into play, New Orleans, where they're having those pump problems. This is going to be potentially a catastrophic flooding situation. We can't stress this enough. We'll continue to track it, but this is going to be a very big deal for a very long time, guys. Well, tomorrow will be 25 years since Hurricane Andrew struck South Florida. Tonight, we continue our series of special reports to commemorate the anniversary with CBS4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Here's his conversation with meteorologist Brian Norcross, the man credited with saving lives the night the storm flattened much of South Miami-Dade.